I just thought something. We never actually personally thanked you for uploading our tutorial on your channel. There you go. Because that yeah. was what kicked And the real fake channel. shares. Yeah. The original. What's the yeah. man? Sick. Boom. Yeah. I think you guys get the maybe the best uh, knuckleball on YouTube ever made. So oh. I think I think one. It's it's one of it's the one best. Of maybe yeah, yeah. maybe it's the the best. Oh, so, that's a pleasure. Yeah, Ponzi, you know, that's yeah. Probably, definitely. Yeah. But yeah, I think we've got one more test in the Bizarros and then yes. we're in the Fury on. So let's get to it. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our first ever podcast yeah it's our first podcast um bear with us it's going to be a good and exciting video a lot to talk about a lot of stories a lot of memories 10 years on youtube what a journey it's been crazy yeah it's been crazy we've got quite a lot of notes that we've wrote down beforehand of our journey some key parts that we want to talk about um, we had a few questions that as well from you guys we appreciate that and yeah it's just about our journey and how we started and our highlights, yes moments, worst moments as well I suppose and just a general story of how we started to where we are now. Yeah, and if you struggle to fall asleep at night, stick this on and you sort it. That's exactly, yeah, give it a listen. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna start with quick fire questions. Quick fire. We haven't rehearsed any of this, so this is completely up, off the out blue. Okay. So first question, favourite fruit? Mango. Favourite footballer? Thiago. Favourite ice cream flavour? White chocolate. Favourite YouTube video? That's not ours. Oh, that is on the spot. Um, I think I'm obsessed with this, uh, what's he called? I'm going to get his name on now. Obsessed, but you don't know his name. <laughs> Well, no, it's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the astronaut that jumped out of space, jumped out like from space back to Earth. Yes. Felix something. He's, he's um, I can't remember his name. I think he's Dutch or but he's, he's basically a, a adrenaline junkie extremist who um, jumped out. And I think just that, that video gives me goosebumps. It was, it like, it was like eight years ago, but yeah, that, I can watch that video so many times. It's fascinating. Imagine having the guts to do that. Like, We've done some pretty cool stuff in our time, haven't we? But yeah. jumping out or something when you're in space and you're coming back to Earth and then you've got to get your parachute out and that's just nuts. Yeah, it's just inspiring. I believe it's absolutely nuts. I already feel like I'm going to sidetrack this whole podcast already. I know, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. instantly I've got ideas and thoughts in my head. So yeah, yeah, yeah. on that, just quickly, like YouTube is the best platform to expose yourself yeah. and have the opportunity to film all of this stuff. Without YouTube, we wouldn't have had any of the opportunities that we've had. No. And that's like the basis, yeah. isn't it? We've yeah. had inspiration, we've had experiences, but without YouTube as a platform to expose ourselves, yeah. like everyone does these days, and we'll get onto this in greater detail because of the journey that we've had as well. Yeah, well that's it, I think like, Again, not just the fact that you can upload and publish yourselves worldwide. Yeah. It's a case of, for us personally, it was a massive confidence booster. Yes. And it yeah. grew us as people. It was just a case of uploading videos for the fun, for fun of it. Like, through that, we had some amazing experiences that really grew us as people and really brought the best out of us. So, yeah. there's, so much, there's so much to be grateful for from YouTube. And, we started 10 years ago, we started at a good time when it was was quite quiet. Yeah. Not many people had YouTube. I still remember even five years ago or so, and YouTube wasn't watched on TVs. No. There, was, there wasn't any YouTube apps on phones, maybe eight, seven years ago. It's so accessible. It is. Nowadays, it's everywhere. I mean, everyone watches YouTube, but they watch TV. Everyone's yeah. got smart TVs, everyone's got consoles, Xboxes, PS4s, PS5s, where they can watch YouTube straight away. Yeah. When we started out, that wasn't possible at all, was it? Mm. And YouTube itself was so different. It was like star ratings, like one to five star videos. Mad. No dislikes, no likes. It was yeah. just a star rating. All the setup was different. Um, and, it, and yeah, it was just, it was just, it was just, just completely different. It's just nuts to think what it could be like in the, in the next 10 years. Yeah. Like we've been doing it for 10 years and it's a lot more common. And it, to this day, I still never forget the fact that when we started, people would take the mick out of us. Yeah. For doing yeah. YouTube and uploading our content and yeah. uploading what we love to do. Whereas now everyone does it. It's not 
not even a question, is it? No. Like, like even little things, like the other day, we were in... Oh, I talk. Yeah, in a minute, sorry. <laughs> it's going to be like this, though. Like, we we, we, we sometimes talk about We do talk a lot. Yeah. And hopefully you guys will enjoy it. For I sure. I want to point out as well that it's the 3rd of July, so if yeah. anything happens after, then that's not to our knowledge at the moment. But yeah. we're actually going on the basis of 10 years of YouTube, and we can crack on with it now. Like, yeah. just, we've done the quest quick five questions done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so continue. Yeah. So I know, I know yeah. the thing is, because we're twins, I know what you're going to say. Yeah. <laughs> I, know, I know what you're about that's to say. That's nuts. So I yeah. guess. Yeah. So like you're about to say that we're in a day and age now where you can get your phone out, film yeah. anything, and no yeah. one looks at you oddly. Yeah, literally. That's exactly, that's exactly that. Yeah. Exactly that. Yeah. Like, to someone on a boat, on a canal, taking a photo of a swan, which yeah. I would do the same, you yeah. know, you're close to it, but you wouldn't do that. That wasn't a thing like 10 years ago. No. It wasn't. Nobody had their cameras out, nobody had phones out. We, you just experienced every day for what it was. Yeah. I, I mean, Sammy and I were filming stuff when we were like nine ten years old yeah we were. so this is going back like 18 years ago before youtube before we had a channel yeah we were always obsessed with filming what yeah. we wanted to do weren't we and i think what's important to stress on that point is that we if we've grown up in a generation now filming at that age we would be on youtube eight years old yeah we were very much in a generation of we've got you've got to wait till you're 18 yeah you've got to wait until you're older more confident more mature whereas i feel like there's a danger in that now where people do upload anything onto social platforms and it's that old saying when we were growing up in schools is that you send a picture you put a picture online it's out there forever i feel like that gets forgotten these days so when we were growing up we didn't put stuff online mm. mainly because we couldn't because youtube wasn't a thing yeah it was a thing but not pop, not too popular and i think one of the biggest regrets that i would have is that we should have started sooner, but we didn't know. No. We no, weren't ready to. No. We weren't no. ready to start sooner, but I'm just saying that a lot of the YouTubers that we watch, the Free Kickers, the Millionaire 19, HGI Football, Shoot and Thrill, Budazza, Jolta, all of these people that were doing it, if we started then with the experience and the knowledge that we've gained, yeah. the free kick techniques, everything, our channel would have blown up. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, that's true. Yeah. I mean, it's even... We were just filming the garden, didn't we? Filming yeah. skills in the garden, yeah. goals in the garden, like just on a standard camera, no phones, no never filming phones. phones. Just no. like, like nowadays, you get your phone and you can film it in the same quality as a camera. I know it's, yeah. it's boring chat, but it's true. I think it's important, this is, this, sorry, this is important because it's important to, to express to you guys mm. that we have started from a completely different era. Yeah. We started YouTube when Blackberries were still a thing. <laughs> <laughs> As in the phone, not the fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. it's changed so much over the last 10 years. Instagram didn't exist when we started YouTube. No, no. I'm not sure about Facebook. It was a thing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was about. Yeah, but it was. these social platforms weren't popular. TikTok definitely wasn't about. TikTok didn't exist. Gitquark. Gitquark, yeah. Yeah. We'll get on to that later. Yeah. Um, I think it is crazy because we've started at an era where it was almost frowned upon to upload to YouTube. Yeah. And then we've also had that transition of, oh, everyone wants to be a YouTuber. Yes. Yeah, which yeah, is so yeah. infuriating because yeah. we started YouTube as a hobby. Yeah. It's something we enjoyed doing. It was a passion, wasn't it? It was a passion. It was a, it, we, it was a we, well, it's hard to think of the word, but we were so passionate and loved just filming our shots and watching our goals back. Yeah. That, that's how it started. That's all, yeah. that's all we were, that's, yeah, that was the purpose, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. We, did, we were there for the pitch for hours, striking a ball. And then you obviously got into the knuckleball, learned yeah. the knuckleball in six months, yeah. and that's how the knuckleball free kicks came about. Yeah. And again, that's just a passion. Yeah. Nobody told us to do it. No. Nobody said, oh, go and do this. Like, we were passionate in football, just finished our career at 18, didn't want to pursue a professional career in football. So that's how it all started out. Started out. And I think as well is that, for me, I love doing stuff. I love stuff being filmed. If it's not filmed, I'm quite reluctant to do it. Even to the day where we've got stories, we'll be on holiday and there's an opportunity to go and see. And I wouldn't go and see unless it was filmed. And that was way before phones well, this, were able I say, to this, film. this is probably like 2005, 2006. Yeah. Like, so five years, time ago. five years before, no, sorry, seven years before we started YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. a very long time ago, yeah. I was adamant on not doing things without being filmed. It's like a <laughs> forfeit, for example. Would you do it if it wasn't filmed? Would you expose yourself without it being filmed? 
these days, everyone craves for that like, that attention, that buzz, that adrenaline you get when views shot up, when you get likes coming through and you find notifications, and that's a sad reality, which it is. Unfortunately, that's how it is these days. Mm -hmm. For us, it's always been about uploading what we enjoy, uploading what we want to upload, and being creative with what we upload. We've always uploaded on the basis of, this is what we want to do, I'm going to upload this. Very rarely do we upload a video where we're a bit, oh, I'm not sure if I want to put that on YouTube. Yeah, yes, yeah, that's true. And I mean, again, it's a case of, you wouldn't go to the pitch now and, film a free, and not film a free kick session. No, no, no like, chance. He would only shoot if the camera was playing. Yeah. Wouldn't you? Yeah. There's no doubt about that. No. And there's been that's experiences that's where the camera's died. Yes, of course. Yeah. On the last free kick. Yeah. And it's, and it's an absolute belter and it's not recorded. Yeah. Comment down below if you remember that moment. That was quite recent, maybe three years ago. I was in my PSV kit filming the Hater Smith video. Yeah. You came to the pitch after work, yeah. and then you were filming on your phone, and you got it on your phone, but it didn't get on the camera, yes. and I was fuming. Yeah, yeah, I remember. That's crazy. But yeah, I feel like it's a case of, for us personally, it's a case of just having their memories to look back on. Like, don't get me wrong, like, we've loved YouTube, it's been a great asset to us to express ourselves and everything else, and express Sammy's talent, for sure. But it's also just a case of we love being able to look back through our photos, our videos. Yeah, definitely. And it, it's, it's a memory, it's a keepsake, and it's, it's something that we'll do for the rest of our lives. And yeah, and again, now it's a case of everyone does it, it's just a norm, isn't it? Whereas when we were doing it, it was a case of we wanted to do it. Yeah. Just just for personal benefits, you know, just for just better to look back and think, God, do you remember that goal like 10 years ago? Yeah. When he scored off the post and in. Yeah. Like I was watching some videos, in fact, doing a lot of research on our old stuff. And yeah. We, watching goals we scored like 10 years ago and we started YouTube you think blimey like, I actually hit that yeah, and yeah. Like, or in the ball when your ball when your knuckle free kicks weren't moving as much yes. and the ball was spinning yeah. but it's that yeah. progression to the yeah. stage where you're at now where it's consistent yeah. and you've got to have that to look backwards and think blimey look how far we've come look how much we've achieved yeah and a great point to that as well is the fact that it's progression yes. and we're proud of that a lot of people I'm pretty sure would delete their old videos. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like how I look. I don't like how yeah, I look. Yeah, skin in days. Yeah. But I was 17. I've got like hair on my face and my head now. <laughs> and that wasn't a thing when we started. No, yeah. And yeah, I yeah. think that we can easily go back to those videos and think, oh, I'm, I'm cringing watching that. But that's part of the process. It's a journey. I'm not going to delete those videos just because I don't like how I look. Because it was a time when. Again, appearance wasn't a thing. For me, it wasn't, it wasn't the, end, the end of the world. Like, what mattered was getting that goal, going to the pitch, filming everything. How I looked didn't bother me. The only appearance thing that mattered was what retro kits I was wearing, if what I had my Casano shirt, yeah. if I had the boots I wanted to wear on. And again, when we started, people might forget that we invested so much of our kind of earnings, our, yeah. our, all our possessions were purely bought. Yeah. All the football kit that we had, all the football boots, the footballs. So all of that is recorded. And if you look back over the 10 years, you'll notice not just the progression in how our videos have come together. You will also notice appearance changes. And yeah, it's, it's, it's been a magic. Yeah, I mean, I, I look completely different to 10 years ago. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. But it's, it says that confidence. It's... You know, different experiences, meeting new people, meeting different people all around the world, and some of our travelling experiences. Like, yeah. and we should go on to that really because I mean, we started ten years ago, July twenty twelve. Yeah. Twenty twenty two now. Yeah. Started as just a hobby, uploading videos to YouTube. You were a fake goal went viral. Yeah. The uh, infamous free kit that you guys obviously know well and truly about. Can we talk about that now? Yes. So the real fake goal. What is still to this day, it baffles me, is that I didn't think it was as good as it was at the time. <laughs> yeah. And that's honest truth, guys. Oh, although, although I must add that I was behind the goal. You were in the right and side, weren't it you? it looked just completely unnatural. Yeah. Completely unnatural. I didn't, like, talk about the physics comments and that we see, but yeah. something that, I don't know what happened to that ball, but the way you struck it was just... Insane. And I haven't heard a ball view is different. Yeah. yeah, and I haven't heard a ball like that to this day. And you're right, my view is different. So, again, when you're striking a free kick, 
you're very focused on the technique. So when the ball's in flight, especially with my eyes, I'm not that aware of what's happening. But obviously, you guys know now that I'm very particular about my free kicks, and if they don't go into a corner, I don't get too crazy about it. I very rarely get crazy about any goals these days. But with that really fake goal, I remember it happened and had my iPod in. People, someone thought I was wearing AirPods because you can't see the wires, <laughs> which obviously weren't a thing. Yeah, they were. Back then. Oh, yeah. But um, I think I used to like taking free kicks with music playing, and I remember just walking away with my hands on my face, thinking, "What just happened?" But on that, that goal was scored in August 2013. We didn't upload it to YouTube as a clip till January 2014. Yeah, like six months later. Which is crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty mad. It had been exposed through free kickers and Tembro at the time were doing kind of top five goals compilations. What's mad as well is it actually only won on free kickers second channel. Yeah. Football twenty four seven. It didn't yeah, actually win on the main. top five goals on yeah. free kickers. Comment down below if you're familiar with yeah. the free kickers era of top five goals. Yeah. Conzi, we honestly without Conzi's help we wouldn't be where we are. And we were talking about this earlier about like the like system. Yeah. Yeah, well, you'd like a video on YouTube and everyone gets to see what you've liked. Yeah. So it was appearing in your feed. So when Free Kickers, we had a big falling over a million subscribers. Already. Which, which was a lot by that point. Yeah. When they liked our videos, when Conzi liked our videos, it came up on his feed saying that our video had got up like 20,000 views in like a matter of days. Yeah. And like, again, they made them, I mean, it's, it's, it's sad, isn't it? But these days, the most attention, most viewed videos are pranksters. Yeah, in it or fights or yeah or, or pit, boxing or, or some, something that's controversial. Yeah, nothing that's something that people want to see because it's like oh what happened here like yeah like back back when we when we started out there was open opportunities to be successful in whatever you want to do on YouTube. Yeah, whereas now it's a case of oh let's put these out because we know it's going to get attention, we know it's going to get likes, we know it's going to get views, we know people are going to share it. And then, of course, you've got to have a personality and be a good character as well, but I don't know. It's, I it's think different. talent gets overlooked. Yes. Talent's always sure. been overlooked. Yeah. And the harsh reality is is that as good as we are at what we do, and very rarely do we kind of praise ourselves, but we are good at what we do, we've never really clickbaited our videos. We no. don't go down that route. We want the video to do as well as it can through natural exposure through it being shared. We never push our videos to be shared or liked. We're never constantly on your case about liking videos. Right. We'll say at the end, it's just kind of like the cliche ending, like, subscribe for new. That kind of comes naturally at the end of our videos. But in terms of that real engagement, talent does get overlooked. And unfortunately now, with, with platforms like TikTok, a lot of people have short attention spans. I'll be very surprised if people even tune into this, to be honest, just because yeah. it's a long yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. People, well, you might stick it on as background noise or something, but a lot of people want to see stuff quick. They want to flick through their phones, constantly looking for stuff. Oh, they find something funny, maybe spend five seconds on it, keep flicking, double yeah. tap. Yeah. That, that's, that's the world we live in. And when we started, and even up till like seven years into our YouTube journey, it wasn't a thing. So people were able to watch long videos. And in our Q and A's we used to do. I remember at the start saying, "Oh, sorry, guys, this is going to be a longer video than normal." It was fifteen minutes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And we yeah. were conscious then of uploading a long video. Yeah. yeah. Whereas now yeah. you do have longer videos, podcasts are a thing. This is not a very professional podcast in the sense that we haven't got the headphones and the mic. But again, going back to what we've said, we've always funded equipment ourselves. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, always from the start, and then. Sammy uses initiative to do the Adidas Predator boot review, didn't you? Yes. With Adidas. Yeah. And then you shared that on Twitter, the hashtags, and tagged yeah. Adidas UK in it. And then Ben Goldenhagen viewed it. And then we got to quite a few ads events, didn't we, from yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. And that was a case of, again, didn't just fall in our lap. Like, yeah. you made the video, you went out, did the tutorial, filmed the shots, spoke about the boots. Yeah. And this is when it stayed with the tutorials are very popular on YouTube regarding boots and like just gear and footwear or whatever. Yeah. So um so that really took off and that enabled us to then open more opportunities to work with Adidas, go on the um go meet KSI, do all yeah. sets, yeah. The old LS Predator event where the, the, the guys were acting, that was super funny. Oh, you've got to talk about that. Yeah. So there was like an LS event where they might have like proper it's serious. It was serious. It's, it was very serious. serious. It was like a Predator Instinct 
Adios event in London. Blackout. Blackout, yeah, with the blackout boots. Yeah. And we, Sammy and I went, and there were some different challenges, but they basically had actors that were being like really serious to the point where you know, I, I, was just, I, I, couldn't, I, I don't take life seriously anyway, so I couldn't take it seriously. But this guy was like getting in my face and like shouting at me because I was just like, mm, like whatever. But he was like, it was like, and the, and the challenge was like a minute long, wasn't it? It was, it was like a 30 second challenge. Yeah. So I knew it was just going to be a quick challenge. And I was going to give my best try anyway, of course I was, but I was just like, mm. so, um, so he was like, you will not last five minutes! And he probably shouted me in my face and I was like, it's a minute, isn't it? And then he was like, froze, and he was like, exactly. And I was like, why? <laughs> Oh, it's just so funny. That like, moments where you, ne you never forget. Yeah. But that yeah, brought some really cool experiences. Met like KSI, Stephen Gerald was there, Oscar was there at Chelsea at the time. And like Solanke. Solanke, yeah, he was there. <laughs> also at Chelsea at the time. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, we've met some amazing people and players, and, and we forget sometimes. Like, I saw a photo of us with Gomez this morning, like the goalkeeper here, Gomez. Yeah. Like, I forgot about that. Yeah, They're not like worldwide famous players, but we have met some amazing players like, well, Pogba for example, um, Company, Company, Norris, Matt Sadiansky. Yeah. All players that are still playing today, obviously, Company's yeah. now managing, but. Yeah. The, the, whole, Lo the whole Liverpool team, Salah. The whole Liverpool team. The yeah. Liverpool Klopp. team that won the 2019 Champions League final, yes. I want to add, because we. Oh, there's so much to talk about. I man. know. Talk about that as well now, I want to talk about it. I was going to talk about Pogba and all that as oh, well. Oh, Pogba as well, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. let's stick with value for now. Okay, yeah. So, I used my instincts, really, and bought those boots, like Charlie said, made the test and review, Adidas saw it, had all these opportunities, and something, again, that we never thought would happen when it did. It created a lot of different connections, yeah. And it, again, it enabled our channel to grow because people wanted to see us interviewing Fabianski like we did yes. in ProDirect. Yeah. Which isn't there anymore. A ProDirect store is not a thing oh, right. in London, as far as I'm aware. Oh, yeah, recently then. Yeah. Blimey. But we used to go there and have like interviews with the players that were there. We were very fortunate to have exclusive access and we'd go downstairs. Uh, Matt Reese, if you're watching, yeah. legend, really yeah. helped us out. Um, couple of the other guys you know who you are if you are watching and those opportunities meant the world to us because it was surreal surreal moments yeah. and on that basis we were always so grateful for any opportunity so grateful we've always yeah. we so grateful the, the honest thing is guys is that as well as your support the comments and likes everything that happens on youtube we've always been so grateful and we've never taken it for granted never no no so i mean unfortunately some people these days do on yeah. YouTube, and you can just tell, you know, it's just a norm for them, which is a shame, but when we were at our peak and we were, like, travelling all over the place, getting paid to go to America to work, yeah. like, our first experience in America, yeah. our first ever flight to Seville, yeah. first time we ever flew, yeah. New Balance paid for our flights, first time we've ever been on a plane, like, yeah. Like, even to stay, I can't be more thankful for that. And that's confidence again. Confidence, yeah. We, we, we were scared yeah. of flying. Yeah, exactly. Before yeah. that moment. Yeah. And they didn't have a choice. They didn't have a choice. They basically no. pay a flight to you, we're going to do this, etc. Yeah. We were like, oh, well, yeah, we can't turn it down. Yeah. And I, for, I have no regrets in life, thankfully. I don't. I feel like everything's happened for a reason and every path has led to the right moments and that. But that experience of travelling and going to a different country on a plane, we've been to France now before. But we were like 20 years old, maybe 19, I can't remember exactly. Yeah. But I've been around the world so many times now, and I love it. It all stems from somewhere, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely obsessed with travelling, absolutely love being abroad. You know, it, 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 it's, um, um, it's amazing. And for you guys, again, do it if you can, because it's 100% worth it, every penny you spend. But yeah, so anyway, so again, we're going completely off track topic, but it's good because it's so much to talk about. <laughs> but there is so much to talk about. There is, yeah. So... On travelling, when we were 18, 19, we did our Italy trip? Yes. Is that right? Yeah. 18, 19 years old. We've been doing YouTube for a bit. You guys that have been with us for a long time will know the videos, the Italy vlogs. We got burgled. Yeah. On our first night or second first. night? Well, first it was day. Our, it, was our, no, it was our second day, but so we had one Second night, day, yeah. So then the next day, when we were at the pool, yeah. came back to our room and there was our clothes everywhere. The safe was Sa open. Safe was open. Of money. Not very safe. Laptop. That had so many memories again that we lost. We we lost so much footage. Yeah. So much footage. Yeah. There was 
that, oh mate, that makes me feel sad now. But it was a point, again, where backing up our footage wasn't like, oh, we've got to do it. Now we have hard drive stacked with everything. We've kept everything, guys, which yeah. is crazy. Yeah. But we lost everything that day. Yeah. The amount of anxiety and stress, I mean, for someone like myself that suffers with autism, anxiety is a massive thing and that can get triggered within a second. Yeah. And I wasn't officially diagnosed then. No. But no. it's an experience that I'll never forget and the fact that we overcame it and we still had two weeks left of our trip. It was the start of a horror. It was the start of yeah, our yeah, trip. Yeah, yeah. We planned this trip. No, Charlie yeah. had done a, had done an amazing job of planning train routes and destinations yeah, yeah, yeah. and pit stops. Bear in mind we were probably quite naive. Yeah, 18, 19 years old, just went on the blim, travelled. Is a blim a word? I don't know. It is now. It is now. <laughs> went, went on, on the blim. blim. There you go, guys. You can click that or clip it as, as the millennials say. If, if, if you're watching the video, comment down below blim. blim so we know you've watched yeah, it. There you watched go. Different parts of the video. Yeah. Blim how, is a keyword. How good is your attention span? <laughs> yeah. How have we doing it for now? Half an hour here. <laughs> blim. Put blim in the comments. Spell it how you like. Yeah, spell it how you like. I'll probably go B L I M. Yeah, maybe something like that. On the blim. On the blim. So, on the blim, um, <laughs> completely no experience at all. We travelled by train. I had tired experience. I've done a did. month in yes. Europe. Yeah, so a month in Europe on a train. So I had, I had a bit of interrail experience. How long, was, how long was that before? So that was a year before. So you did? Yeah, I did a year. Uh, yeah, I did a like month that. of travelling around Europe on the trains. You know, Sam and I did it next year for two weeks. Got burnt on the second day. <laughs> Brilliant, well, I'm... <laughs> Um, but yeah, but again, it's all these experiences that, you know, the thing is, is that... It was a friendly burger, you know, because they left the laptop and they yeah. left us some cash, didn't they? No, 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 they took the laptop. No, sorry, they left they took, sorry, they took the laptop. They left a bit of cash. Yes, yes that's right. It literally pretty much, or he or she went out the envelope and took about 20, 40 euros, whatever. That's right, because I had a lap laptop case, didn't I? Yeah, the, case, the case was, was on the floor. Yeah, yeah, but oh, the laptop was gone, yeah. But we had our GoPros with us still, so we were able to film all that, so that was good. Had our phone Your iPads came down to the floor us. Yeah, yeah. So there's always a brighter side, but also with all these experiences, there's always a story. And what's fascinating is that everybody, what I love about people is everyone's got different stories and scenarios. And I mean, I've had some absolutely crazy travelling stories. Really quick, let's just talk about really quickly. Swimming one. So, so when I was in Italy, in Rimini, almost drowned at sea, went out to sea, didn't realize the current was all over the place, got that panic retreat, was getting carried by massive waves, and just about made it back to shore, but that was one of the most terrifying. That was the most terrifying moment of my life. Terrifying. Film it, though. No one was filming, <laughs> so you can't prove it. And if someone was filming, it'd probably go viral. Yeah, it, it, it was ter. <laughs> I was terrified, absolutely terrified. Another story was recently in Croatia. Took a GoPro out to these amazing waterfalls in a Kirk National Park. S swam out the GoPro in my hand. Some woman in front of me kicked the GoPro out of my hand, and it sunk to the bottom of the waterfall. And I was like, I was like, we doing it? And I looked like it was a complete accident. But I had to like run out, I had to get someone to, I had to, I had to, I had to go back to the locker to get my goggles and see where it was. Couldn't see it at all. It was completely missing, so far down, very deep. Managed to get some snorkeler, busy scuba diver, and he just kind of like swam down to the bottom and. Put it back Did he me. speak English? No, there wasn't there. No, 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 but he, I said GoPro uh, down there, <laughs> please. <laughs> so he got that. And then even in California, or Australia, wildfires. The bush fires, Escaped yeah. the wildfires in Australia. Will Hunt, what legend. Legend. We need to talk about Will. We do talk about Will. Oh my days. Crazy story again, but that was amazing. And then in California, when COVID happened, I was out there for three weeks, had to come home, rush home early. I was meant to be out for two more weeks, and this is March 2020. And on that, you got one of the last flights back. One of the last flights back, yeah. You would, have been, mean, you would have been stuck out in America, yeah. and uh, you would have ended up with everyone on the streets in San Fran. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, probably not that bad, but yeah. <laughs> San Francisco, what a, what a city, but yeah, no, but anyway. No disrespect to San Francisco, of no, course. It, I love, love this city, but there's some rough areas around there, unfortunately. Like it is around the world, but yeah. Peter Santinelli is a good chap to watch if you want more familiar familiarity as to what San Fran's like in a minute. That's a little shout out there. Yeah. We're going out to Will Hunt then. Yes. So Will, we first met Will when he was 14, 14 I think, yeah. When we were in Florence. Yeah, which is like our travelling trip. Yeah, so when we were travelling around Italy, we we stopped off at Florence on our travels and I don't even know how the contact he, he, came about. He messaged us on Instagram. 
Well, we, were we on Insta we were on Instagram. We were on Instagram, yeah. yeah. So he messaged us on Instagram, yeah. said that he was in Florence. Bear in mind, this is like a subscriber fan at the time, yeah. who I think we can say to say become great friends with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a contact yeah. around the world. A subscriber fan contacted us, which doesn't happen these days. People, people don't contact. The communication, the, the socialising has all gone downhill. That's another su subject for later. But he, he was brave enough to reach out to us. And we actually met him on our travels in Florence. Yeah. Yeah, and it was it was amazing, you know. We, had a, we didn't do much, did we? We had a little kickabout, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, a little yeah. kickabout, and it was quality. But that was just, you know, a good deed from our point of view, I suppose. But we were more than happy to do it, weren't we? He yeah. reached out to us, and then literally like two or three years later, we bear in mind, Will was living in Australia, I believe at the time, and he was. We were in New York, and he messaged us sort of in New York. York. Story. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like, "Oh." Um, I'm in New York again, I just we meet up. And we're like, yeah. So we met up and we a second time. So first time was in Florence, second time was in it's New York. Me, just to yeah. confirm to you guys. New York, America. And we spent a few days with him. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Lovely family as well, I must add. Brilliant family. Um, Can I add experience. That, that Will Hunt, Will and his family, gave me the best experience of eating a sugar glazed donut. <laughs> With a from Seven Eleven, with Seven Eleven, yeah, with a cup of my favourite uh, big gulp root beer, yeah, looking over Central Park yeah. at sunset, yeah, oh, unreal. Honestly, I think that is up there with one of my most favourite moments in life. Sounds so simple, but to be able to see sunset in New York, my favourite city in the world, I had visions of it being my favourite city just from when you see it on TV and all this before even travelling there, but to have that experience. Can't be it, and that would have happened if we didn't meet Will and Florence, and yeah, we didn't meet exactly. Will in New York. Yeah, and, and then, things come together then, yeah. because everything happens for a reason. Yes, absolutely. Or for frustrations, everything happens for no reason. But that's a funny <laughs> joke, anyway. But anyway, so then, so we met him in Florence, met him in, in America, and then he very kindly offered for us to go out to see him in Australia. So I was able to go. You weren't able to go. No. But I went to see him. Spent five weeks with him and his family in Australia. Um, again, time of my life. Massive respect to you, man, and your family, yeah, but memories I'll never forget, ever, ever forget. And going back to our America experience, so New Balance was a big contact, big brand that we worked very closely with. Came out of the blue again, just from different experience, different contacts. Kind of ironic that we dissed these boots like a week ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On show, but <laughs> yeah. as a whole, yeah. New Balance have yeah. been amazing to us, and hopefully, the video that we did. Our most recent video that we saw didn't go down the wrong way. You guys kind of were aware of the situation, the problems I had with the boots, but yeah. new bags have been amazing. And like I said in that video, I still buy their clothes to this day. Yeah, absolute huge fans of the brand. I love the five seven fours, the three seven threes, all of the custom kind of classic casual trainers, and yeah. New bands. This could be another half hour. No, so it? many, so many travelling experiences, new bands, and opportunities, yeah. wasn't there? But one of, I said, first time flying a plane, yeah. and then we went to Melwoods, played on the pitch. Liverpool used to train, they don't train anymore. Iconic, can we say? Iconic, very Kenny iconic. Kenny Dalglish, yeah. John Barnes. Yeah. Uh, John Barnes is also we met, and we've seen, and he's, he's seen our videos. Ian Rush, Ian Rush, we've met. We've met. Uh, John Barnes John has John watched John my real or fake goal. John Aldridge as well. John Aldridge we've met, yeah. But John Barnes, yeah, and Stan Collymore. Stan Collymore and John Barnes. Stan Collymore, there's a clip on our YouTube, go and find it. It's the Football Blogging Awards video. Stan Collymore is watching my free kicks and he's calling John Barnes, the, one of the most iconic Liverpool legends, to, he's calling him over to watch my free kicks. I'm, I'm mental. I just, just like, mental. I, lost I watched that video back last week and I'm looking at it thinking, I don't remember that happening. Did that? Did that actually happen? Yeah. Crazy. Absolutely mad. We didn't win anything on the night, but we won. John Barnes watching my free. Yeah, games. absolutely. Yeah. Oh, oh, that is much more um, pleasurable yeah. than a tangible trophy to say yeah. I won a an award. To have someone that iconic watch my free kicks and compliment them. Yeah. Was crazy. There again, it's uh, Nasri's reaction to the free kicks. Koke, the first player. Yeah. Uh, Ramsey. So so many players that yeah. we worked with New Balance. Communication and, barriers. Yes. So with Koke, when we were in Seville, yeah. he had a translator, translator with him. Yeah, yeah. And bear in mind, we're just trying to show him a goal, but the translation and his face, again, 
was, like was enough yeah. was enough to yeah. be understood by anyone worldwide. You don't have to speak a language. And I think, again, with football, it's a universal language. Yeah. So all these opportunities have happened because of that. If you've got a ball at your feet, you can do anything. You can meet people. You can go out, have amazing adventures. The time in Italy when we had our freestyle ball and we found that pitch yeah. on the coast. Right by the beach, yeah. And we met these guys and played a game with them. Yeah. Didn't understand a word they were saying. Yeah. Had the time of our lives. Like, like pick up games in New York. Oh, with Brooklyn Bridge in the background. That uh, Pier 5. Is it Pier 5? That pitch Possibly, yeah. is one of my most favourite pitches. Yeah. DJ Deverney, I'll say, yeah, he's a legend. He's what a legend. Man. Mo Ali, if you know those guys and if you guys are watching, much respect to you. And the thing is, Mark Lewis Cullinan, we did a video oh, there. 7 MLC, man. What a legend as well. What those deal, those man. three guys that we've just said, Daniel, 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 Daniel Dennehy as well. Daniel Dennehy. Those Film there as well, Daniel Dennehy. More, there's probably more to this list, but these four, still to this day, watch our videos, comment on our videos, they're active. When I comment on their stuff on Instagram and YouTube, they always reply. Fair play, because when you've got following that big, mm. I tend to struggle managing the day-to-day -day in terms of the interaction side when replying to comments and that. I always do it. We take it in turn. We always do it. But in that sense of having a following that big and still to this day take time out of their lives, their busy schedules to watch and support us is yeah. incredible. No, it is very cool. Very cool. Do we go back to New Balance before going back home to New York? Yeah, can do. I'm so trying to think how it started. What, New Bats? Yeah. So, New Bats, so I, I remember this. Okay. There's some okay. notes, it'll be down there somewhere. What, um, let's go down a bit. So, New Bats, the, new, the contact for New Bats again started with Conzi. Co Conzi yeah. again. Skill Ballers. Yeah. yeah. So, he, yeah, 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 yeah. he made us a part of Skill Ballers. I still wear their clothes to this day because they still fit, luckily. I haven't got too fat. <laughs> I absolutely love the Skill Ballers gear. Skill Ballers was a thing where there was 11 creative YouTubers in the squad. I want to be openly biased and maybe say like the OGs. We had Bass in there. There was... Shoot and Thrill. Shoot and Thrill played a part. I don't think Boo Dazzle was a part, but Boo Dazzle was very independent, a very... He, he had... He, his persona was just insane, very... His videos were very quirky. If you know what I mean, you'll know in terms of Budazza. Yeah. But there was a lot of people involved in skill ballers that were the hub and the community of football free kicks and we were very grateful to be a part of that. So what it was is that Conzi couldn't get anyone to go out to that or go up to Liverpool from their side. We were the only English skill ballers. Yeah. No one else in England was a part of this. Bear in mind free kickers are based in Germany, they had contacts within Germany, a few in America, but because we were based in England they asked us to go up to Liverpool to test out a new Vizarra and Fuel, which was the launch of New Balance. Yes, so we were was. there from the very start. Yeah, yeah. The first ever pair of boots because primarily beforehand it was Warrior Sport. Yes, true, it was, yes. So New yeah. Balance took over Warrior Sport, if I'm correct in saying yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were the first part of that process of belonging to New Balance. And if anyone from New Balance is watching, James, Pablo, Pablo, uh, uh, Martin, Martin, uh, Nicola, yeah. all of you legends like Tom, both the Toms, they're still involved I think, Joe, all of you guys, like thank you so much because the experiences that we've had, the opportunities to be within the facilities of Liverpool when you were under them as a team, yeah. travelling to Seville, going to Celtic, playing at Celtic Park, oh, what, a, what a day, yeah. Go to Lille, 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 like we said. Yeah. Um, we are so grateful and yeah, hugely grateful. I would do anything to relive all those moments again because I'm very big on reflecting on life and in the moment, yes, I enjoy things, but when you reflect and you look back and like we were saying, having the memories that we did, watching clips, you there's nothing like it. And like you look at memories come up and it's like five years ago you were doing that and it's like, wow, mad. Unfortunately, those things and those moments aren't as... Um, frequent now, but what a, what a, yeah, what a time. To say that we've still done all that is yeah. pretty special, isn't it? I don't think anyone can honestly say they have done as much as we done as much as we did in that time period when there wasn't much things about. We kind of did start YouTube at the right time in that sense where yeah. things and um, doors open, stuff yeah. and that was enabled. There was a lot more. We were very much in the core. Show, yeah, more social interaction. People weren't afraid of other people doing well. 
Unfortunately now we're in a day and age where people don't want to see other people succeed and that sounds brutal and people won't admit it and we're probably guilty of it as well to some extent but you will see that people don't want other people to do, to do well and that's sad and again that unfortunately where so much can be put online and so much is out there yeah. it's, it's very hard for stuff to get filtered yeah. so a lot of our videos I can have a hard say are made with a lot of time and effort Editing takes me about 15 hours plus, depends on the video, and it's top quality content in my eyes. A lot of you guys in the comments will always say, have you not got a million subscribers, have you not got 100,000 yeah, yeah. subscribers at least? I don't know how. I don't know where our stuff goes. It feels, it feels like someone hates us and someone's preventing us from getting exposed because yeah. I have no other answer. We're, con we're quite, um, it's a conspiracy theory, isn't it? Conspiracy theory like to say that someone stops our videos getting exposed but i have no other answer our videos are quality the one letter one number brings to mind right. <laughs> well yeah. that for you yourselves. can figure that out yeah. yeah that is so true though yeah i just i don't understand With Adidas, going back to Adidas as yeah. well yeah yeah, yeah all yeah, fizzled yeah. out didn't it yeah. because of yeah. the one letter one number yeah one letter one number it's not slight because sammy is incredibly talented consistent and incredibly talented there's no doubt about that there's no doubt about that more talent than most people i know who go and strike in a ball professional yeah, maybe, footballers reactions just be yeah, enough not not i mean again you're a baller but this is just different it's unique knuckle free kicks is unique it's a rare talent that you started out you are the goats knuckle balls i think personally biased to an opinion maybe but you guys can see if that's that Cam Corp as well, yeah, yeah. Again, another good guy. One United, One United. Yeah, there are, there are a lot of you guys. That no, are I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, but obviously this is why. I see it's easy for me there. to say because I'm the free kick taker. Yeah, yeah. and this is why I see working with you and filming with you and yeah. that. But, and again, like, what else can you do? What that exposure, our talent, yeah, showcasing your talent and that, yeah. But and I think as well is that doing YouTube for ten years is a long time. It is very difficult to constantly think of new ideas, new content, new creations, but we have. Yeah. And we're still up, you're still uploading. We're still uploading. uploading. Two weeks. We've been the, I think we've been the most consistent YouTube channel in a sense of not having a year break. Some people have a year break or six months off and then upload a video. That's great, like fair play, because even that is hard to do because you can lose motivation. There's a lot of times when we'll see the video not do so well and, and I've put so much time into it honestly guys you don't see a lot of behind the scenes but a video might take me like over three days to make yeah. and you upload it thinking this is going to be it this is the video that's going to set us off and it kind of fizzles and drizzles with views and you're there like fizzles and drizzles another fizzles and drizzles <laughs> you got three words now it fizzles and drizzles <laughs> that's the tiz I'm talking in it but it's uh. It, like, what, how does it not get seen by so many people? Yeah. yeah. And again, I think going back to... Oh, I have in my head then. It's gone. Oh, There's something quite important. Insert ad break here. Yeah, there you go. Skip ad. Skip ad. Skip ad. No, if the adverts went around, we started YouTube, no. were they? No. We didn't earn any money from YouTube probably until about four or five years in because you have to have a certain following to allow that process to happen. We haven't even saw, we only said that we started Predator Knuckles 17. Yeah, that's where we started out, Predator Knuckles 17. Favourite boot, AS Predator, Knuckles was the free kick technique, 17 was our age when we started officially, and yeah. my lucky number. Yeah, and then uh, that changed to Knuckleball Twins. Mike, got a shout Mike, out Mike. I was say, Mike Delaney, what a lad. hero, yeah. absolute legend. Another, so, another, much another, time, so much time for that guy. He has done so much for us in the sense of being able to identify ourselves. Yeah. Boosted our confidence in terms of socialising, interacting with other people through adverts and TV work. Yeah. Also, giving us the opportunity to perform our workshops. Yeah. Trial our workshops, as w which we now do for work. Yeah. In terms of going into schools and teaching kids and knuckleball free kids. Inspiring kids. Yeah. yeah. He, he started that by allowing us to do it, believing in us, and supporting us, essentially. Yeah. And again, at this moment, Paul Pogba. Yeah, we film talk about film that, with yeah. Pogba for an Alice advert. He's done two adverts for him. I did yeah. one. He, he recognised me. He recognised us. Saw him. Sec yeah, he called us. As, he related 20s. to us as twenties, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. So when he saw me again the second time, he did recognise me. It's mental. Absolutely. You mental. must see like a million people a day as well. Yeah. And this is the most expensive player at the time. At the time, yeah. 
launching the big Adidas Predator promo. Yeah. Yeah. I was passing the ball to Pogba for him to score a goal. And unfortunately, his career's been overshadowed by maybe like the social platform fame and all that. Maybe that's True, what's possibly, done it. Yeah. But at the time, he was the most iconic footballer in the Premier League. Yeah. I think I can safely say yeah, that. Yeah, most yeah. expensive move. Yeah. Um, so much going for him. So much potential. Yeah. At that time, it was mad. If we were to film with Pogba now, for me, it would still be insane because he's a top quality guy. He, again, we've never really had any issues with professional footballers. No. They've always given us their time. I think oh, the most miserable one, 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 there was one miserable one, um, at New Banks when we were filming with Ramsey and um, oh, who's the other guy? It, it was a QPR midfielder, Australian. Oh yeah, I remember. He was that miserable, I can't even remember his name. <laughs> but he was not interested, was he? But we met like Daily Blind and Ashley Young. Why matter? Um, why matter? This is this is endless. This is endless. And it's all it's almost to that point. It, even Hazard. Hazard was, yeah. was quality. Yeah, yeah and he, some he, of them on telly to yeah, us as yeah. Liverpool fans appears to be a bit of a diver and all that yeah. at the time anyway when he was at Chelsea. Yeah. You he was him. quality. Really good guy, yeah, really cool. But all all people and and kind of public figures that have so much going for them and so much um just like expectations and, and but they're they're mil worth millions of pounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm trying to get at. Yeah. They're worth millions of pounds. And to have the opportunity to spend time with them, casually as well, is just crazy. Yeah. And again, I feel like, what people don't realise as well, you're going back to the editing and that. We've done it all ourselves, haven't we? Yeah. All the editing, all the filming. Everything's done off our own back. So we don't get anyone else to do it. We, used to, we have a few photographers in the past that would come take photos and videos for us, which was yeah. really helpful. But then... The only real time where we didn't do this and we just were there to be ourselves and be on in front of cameras with CBC, wasn't it? Yeah. So the children's BBC filmed with uh, like John Farmworth as well, John another, another legend, um, and, and oh, I can't remember their names now. For CBC? Yeah. Uh, Sam and Mark? Well, Sam, I don't know them, yeah, Sam and Mark, absolutely hilarious comedians. I think more about producers. Dom and Alex, yeah. Dom and Alex, yeah, or Harry, so, yeah, Hilly, yeah. Um, and again, just amazing people, and we were able to be like TV presenters and film, and that they would film us, we'd do the talking, they'd give us a script. Yeah, well, what an amazing experience! Again, traveling up to Manchester, just just stay in the hotels, all that experience of going out for food, yeah. like all their moments, like guys. We would we would go to a TV shoot, yeah, and you get like seventy five quid just to yourself, and you're there like. I mean, I was happy to pay for my own food because I get paid as it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget the word, they call it something, don't they? Expenses. It's, it's like a fancy word for oh, okay, it. Yeah, yeah. But they basically give you money, you need to go and spend it as you please. And, oh, yeah, mad. Mental. Ho some of the hotels we've stayed in. I oh, know, yeah. The Hilton, Liverpool, Hilton, Liverpool, Liverpool yeah. Lance. Yeah. The back coming, back, coming back to the room and having fo signed football shirts on your beds. Oh, I know. <laughs> like, yeah. like yeah. that, yeah. those... I remember we were severe, we went to the hotel and my first ever pair of new backs were on the bed and yeah. I've bought new backs ever since. Yeah. New backs trains galore. Yeah. I've still got that pair of new backs. Like six. Yeah. Just scenes and, and stuff that I feel like isn't as common anymore, mainly because of money, stuff's not, you know, cheap anymore. But at that time we peaked in that sense of having all these opportunities. Going to Man United's training ground. Yeah, of course. The film when, who was the Brian Wilson was there, yeah, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Playing in front of him. There's so there's so many. I mean, we haven't even looked at through this. I know. So it's pretty like a quick yeah. glance. But I mean, we've got going back. We talked about it briefly earlier. The Liverpool experience. What an amazing story that is. You can talk about that. As in getting to Anfield. Yes. So and this is 2019. Wasn't 2019. It? Yeah. January 2019. Our last ever appearance with New Balance, watching Liverpool play. We were invited to watch Liverpool versus Leicester. Um, a game that was definitely overshadowed by the experience that we had. So much so that I actually missed the first 10 minutes of, no, the last 10 minutes of the first half, sorry. What happened was we got up there, randomly bumped into John Farnworth. Yeah. Like, how did that even happen? Yeah. So he was performing a set on the stage outside Anfield, and it was a competition to basically get your chance to perform in a half-time show. I say perform, it wasn't a performance, it was basically playing the pitch. 
and I was like, sod it, let's do it. And the challenge was to see how many kickups you could do in a minute. So I was there doing it, and what you guys didn't see is I screwed up, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I did two kickups and completely fluffed it. Of course, I forgot about that. Screwed up, and luckily the guy on stage was like, oh, I'll have another go. Probably thinking I wasn't very good because yeah. I made such a fool of myself. <laughs> I forgot about that. That's <laughs> mental, yeah. Stuff we didn't share with you guys, obviously. It's yeah. too embarrassing. Yeah. That's a hypocrite, it? saying that stuff. No, never mind. Um, yeah, so I, I did it, and I think I, I can't remember how many did it, was something like 50 something, maybe 60 in a minute, which is a lot because I had to do some like, bouncing with that boom, 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 yeah. boom on my foot. And yeah, that won the opportunity to go on the pitch, and I was against this Brazilian guy. I, got, I had to go down in about the 35th minute of the match, so I missed some of the game, which I was gutted about, but not gutted at the same time, Yeah, to get ready. We go down to this little room, got the boots on, was given kit again, and then went on to the pitch, and my only, my only, if I could change anything about that day, it would be the fact that it wasn't snowing. Because <laughs> <laughs> that was horrific. It was so it? bad. Yeah. And there was ice and snow and slush on the pitch. Bear in mind it was half time, so the pitch hadn't even been cleared. It had been played in a full 45 minutes. Yeah. And there's me trying to do knuckle free kicks in like ankle socks. Yes. No, I didn't have my usual protection on in terms no, of my guard, make so excuses. I was making excuses, 100%. Couldn't see, but like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to play at Anfield was absolutely insane. And I won one of three challenges. Not just that, though, no, shooting in front of the cop as well. Shooting in front of the cop, not anything that you could be, you could just go and do now. You might have uh, historical and unbelievable goals that have been scored on that pitch. Gerard moments. Yeah, difficult Rigi corner taken quickly. Like, it's just mental, isn't it? Mad. And that's the year we won the Champions League that as well. The year. So yeah. you scored in the goal. Yeah. Cop end. Yeah. The same goal that a Rigi scored. Did I score, in. though? <laughs> yeah, I think you did, just about, <laughs> yeah. The same goal that a Rigi scored for a semi final of the Champions League. Man, it's absolutely nuts. If I was on the pitch, he wouldn't have done that, obviously. Yeah. yeah. But. No, so I won one of the three competitions, which isn't a great success rate, is it? But basically, the chap I was with travelled down from Brazil, and he actually won the opportunity to meet the players. At so a training I, session. At a training right? session. So right. I won the New Balance kit voucher, which was £100 to spend the New Balance kit. Playing at Anfield alone was enough for me to be like, this is the best day of my life. And then the fact that he couldn't travel down, as in back to Liverpool for that, meant that he was happy to swap, and he was happy, he offered it to me, he was like, oh, do you want to trade? So he got the vouchers, and then we got the opportunity to potentially, it wasn't set in stone, potentially meet some yeah. of the Liverpool players, maybe, I don't know, James Milner or something, to be fair, meeting Milner and Cully. Yeah. He was one of the players who didn't meet. He was, yeah, yeah. We had the whole squad, we did to meet Milner, Lovren and... Joe Gomez. Joe Gomez, because they were injured, so in terms of the session, but we met everyone else, we met the Jürgen Klopp. Mad. His presence, I rarely get nervous like in front of people like of that calibre. But I suppose it was just, it was we were lost for words when we when he yeah. walked over. Such an iconic figure in football and an absolute legend, Liverpool legend again. Bear in mind that we have experience being around yes. professional footballers. Yes. yes. When Klopp came over, I generally didn't know what to say. I was yeah. I was there like. I was, talking, I was joking to Alison about how he loved having a barbecue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he'd always pose about his barbecue. Which is so ironic now right? because you now he's posing for, what's the, I don't even know what it is. Oh, corn, isn't it? Corn meat, yeah, corn yeah. meat. Corn meat, yeah. yeah. he's a barbecue head. <laughs> that makes no sense. Yeah, good one. But I was, chi I was chilling and talking to him about that. Shakiri. Show, show gave Shakiri a business card. And Trent. Gave Trent Shakiri well, and yeah, Trent yeah. one of our cards. Yeah. A lot of the team is still there as well, which is mad, it is. isn't it? There's only a few players, yeah. mine, obviously gone now. Yeah. Um, Chelga wasn't there. Luis Diaz wasn't there. But as a whole, it is... This, but that's why Liverpool have been so successful, core, because yeah. Klopp has... He changed the team, he stayed in charge in the manager role, and he's been able to adapt his team to how he likes it, how he wants it, and all the players get, are used to each other and play well with each other. So, yeah. Um... Yeah, going, going back to again at the Liverpool moment, if you didn't take the opportunity to do the free kick, the, the kick ups competition, you wouldn't have been on the pitch at Anfield and wouldn't have met the players. So that's a lesson for everybody is that 
if there's ever a moment in your life where you feel like, oh, should I do it, should I not do it? If it's What's the worst big, that could happen? Literally, if it's a big opportunity, just do it because I didn't have a go. I mean, I, I, I was fortunate that you still took part. We, but we both could have been on the pitch. I'm not saying I would have got that many kick-ups in a minute, but if I had taken an opportunity, we both could have been on the pitch. But it just goes to show you. There's a lot of people watching that as well, by the way. Loads of people, yeah. Around the area. It was yeah. Quite, oh. Oh, so the battery about to start. Okay, right, we'll change the battery and then we'll continue. Yeah. We're back. <laughs> New battery. New battery. We had a quick summary as to what we haven't talked about and there is still so much, so I don't think we're going to cover everything. No, it's almost impossible in yeah. space of an hour and a half, but if you guys have enjoyed the podcast, then there's no reason why we can't do another one. True, yeah. Let's Go into more that. detail as yeah. to yeah. certain topics you'd love to hear about. See how this goes, see what kind of sponsor gets. Yeah. And yeah, because I mean, we enjoy it, don't we? We yeah, enjoy yeah, talking yeah. about experiences. Don't feel like we're gloating at all, but you know, we're reflecting we're on 10 years in yeah. YouTube. Yes. So we're entitled to. Yeah, <laughs> I believe so. We never gloat about anything. So, no. yeah. First thing I want to say is go back to the free kicker stuff. Yeah. They shared our knuckle tutorial on Tutorial Thursdays that shot our channel up for subscribers yeah. and views. Yeah. I remember finishing work, turning on my Blackberry, and I had over a hundred email notifications through my phone. My phone vibrated for like 10 minutes straight. <laughs> it was crazy. And then it died. And then it probably died. <laughs> it probably did die, yeah. <laughs> Madness. And to think that we used to get notifications through as an email, yeah. to say so-and-so has commented on your video, so-and-so has rated your video, I had no idea what, what was going on, and to see that, what a buzz. And I feel like a lot of people get a lot of adrenaline rushes, a lot of buzzes. Um, Disco Boy will always stress on me about yeah. the, what's the words does he use? Oh, I can't Endorphins, all of yes, that, in yeah. your head. A lot of people get different buzzes, and that was a, that was a feeling that like, you can't really explain. But for us, doing the moments and what we've experienced is more of a buzz than any view I'll ever get. Yeah. Experiencing what we've experienced 100%. is the buzz for me. Yeah. yeah. Having the opportunity to go to America, go back to America, go to other countries, film with professional football players, yeah. score amazing goals, watch our goals back, that is the buzz and that is why we do it. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Not Spot for the off. views, no. For that being in the moment, living in the moment, and capturing the moment. Yeah. That is the buzz. Yeah. Live it, capture it. 100%. And I feel, if you guys, some of you have been watching for 10 years, it's still comment on our videos as well. Like, some of you guys, we're absolute legends, like loyal subscribers. We've got such a loyal fan base. That's and we do notice going. it. We do notice yeah. it all the time. So, when you comment, when you like, and shout out to the kids that I teach in the primary schools that always watch the videos and, you know, leave comments and say, oh, that video was so good, I really enjoyed that one. And We you know, do see all the comments. We do, yeah. If we don't reply, yeah. we, we try, see all try the comments. Reply, yeah. we, we try. love Hartman at least, so... Yeah. Even if you just put first, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that means you take your time to click the video. Yeah, yeah. And you probably put your notification bell on as well, which is yes. actually yeah, yeah massive. Quality. But yeah, like really do appreciate it. We really, really, really do. So we'll end the video going through some comments from my last video because I did say we'd do that. Okay, yeah, sweet, yeah. So bear in mind this is filmed on the Sunday. Yeah. The video went up on the Friday. We've had three days to comment, so yeah. We'll do our best to get through some of them. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, again, one of our biggest experiences was being in Sky Sports as well. That was our first Sky experience Sports, yeah. in front of a camera. Dan Magnus, another legend. Yeah, still um, going. Filmed a football freestyler show where he wanted us to do a knuckleball tutorial at Maidstone. So, amazing experience. And then from Dan Magnus, we met Mark Delaney. Yeah. Mark Delaney did all the adverts with. and It was a, it was a snowball effect regarding to how we started, to... People liked us for who we are, and you know we're real. We're not, we have not faked a single no. moment of our lives. No. Like we're real. Everything's out there. You can't fake out there. And we're true to ourselves. As cringes, as cliche as it sounds, we are, and we're just who we are. And you know, people... probably the most cliche thing you get out of us, though. Yeah, because I would describe myself as a cliche person. I hate no. the norm. I hate the cliche stuff. I hate talking about the weather. All of that. So <laughs> I don't <laughs> fit. I don't fit in that normal. That normal. Well, we don't. We, we we've always done what's right. That's that's what's important. We've always gone with our beliefs and what we know is right. Whether people disagree or agree with what is right, we've done what's right, and that's who we are. And 
don't regret it for a second. But you can't regret that. No. If you do, no. if you treat yourself and do what you believe in, yeah, then you can't regret that. Yeah. And I think for an, from an advice point of view, as far as YouTube goes and what you want to do with your life, if you want to capture the moment, just do it. Don't worry what other people think. We had the harshest time powering through that, worried what other people were thinking. It took a while to get over, once we did, we believed in ourselves and then the confidence came. And again, I mean, this day and age, I don't know, you could post absolutely anything, you could post that guy, for example, at the beginning of the video who jumped out of his little ship and landed back in England, uh, well not England, but back in the world. Somebody will put a comment saying, oh that's fake, or that some, some will hate it. So, so, like, it doesn't matter oh, what you upload. Keyboard warriors. Yeah, literally. It doesn't matter what you upload, what you post. If you believe in it and you're happy about it, that's all that matters. Because no matter what you upload or what you post, somebody in the world is going to dislike it and disagree with it. Yeah. Just It's just the way it is. Yeah. You could post a picture of your car and someone be like, oh, it's not black. Not black. Or I don't like that tint of the window at the back. Or I don't like exhaust. What have you done to it? You could post, I don't know, a goal that we've scored, for example, people say it's fake. Like, I saw a video of some guy like going down this mountain, like, incredible talent, like, absolutely incredible, he's steering it, and someone puts, oh, it's fake because the bike, the front wheel's not moving. And it's like, no, it's not fake, like, just, just appreciate what it is, and just, and if you upload your own stuff, that's on you, but don't completely go out there to be a hater and that, because it's just like, what's the point? Unfortunately, though, that is what, Every social platform thrives off. Yes. Yeah. We did a video on our TikTok, right? We've been doing TikTok for like maybe two, three months. We've been it with passion. We absolutely gave into it. Yeah. I hate it with passion. Daniel Kite set us up for that, to be fair. Yeah. And he did give us the right advice and what to do and how to get it going. And he has supported it as well. So shout out to Daniel Kite. And this isn't a hate message to you. But TikTok as a platform, we have put in our talented free kits, talented saves, and our most viral video, which currently to date has 234,000 views, is a video of me in Brighton with my phone. I'm zooming in on these NPC looking people that look <laughs> like robots, basically an NPC is a non programmed character. They're walking up and down the street. I filmed it for a laugh, sent it to Charlie and Jess, and they went nuts for it. We're like, oh, I put it on TikTok. <laughs> so I thought, sorry, I don't care for TikTok, put it on there. It is our most viewed video on TikTok. And it still gets comments because people want to have their say, they want to disagree, they want to comment yeah. things that shouldn't be commented, and yeah. unfortunately that is the world we And live. unfortunately that took no effort or time at all whatsoever. Whereas a, a talent, yeah. or a free kick, or something that strikes the ball perfectly, and it's satisfied, it goes in a goal, whatever it is, then the video we filmed with random people gets more views and yeah. attention. And when I filmed it, there was no intention of it going anywhere than my, than my camera roll yeah, yeah. for a laugh. <laughs> yeah. Few in the messenger funny. group chat. Like, funny. that is some advice you guys might want to take up, you might want to think, oh, that's the way to go then. Because that is what people do. We can fall into that trap and suck it up and be like, do you know what, let's just film stuff that's going to go viral. But we don't do that. And we could go into detail as to what does go viral, but we're not going to because obviously we like to keep our channel clean and everything. Yeah. But to be as brutal as, as that, you could literally upload anything that people might find an opportunity to have a dig at, disagree with, and people want you to disagree, and that's why those videos do well. Yeah. If everyone agrees with you, no one cares for it. No yeah, one's yeah, interested. Yeah, 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 if you yeah, upload yeah. a video, it's going to be controversial. Yeah. No, 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 that's not true. No, no, that's fake. No, no. That's why Vera faked this so well. Yeah. That was at a time when it wasn't even a big thing. No, yeah, yeah. Now you get like 80 year olds sat at home typing up stuff on their, on their keyboard or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. on their phones, because it's yeah. so accessible. Yeah, yeah. Everyone can have an opinion, and unfortunately, the right opinions don't matter. Yes. Yeah. And that's unbiased. Yeah. Everyone can, have an, everyone can have an opinion these days. Yeah. Everyone can type anything anonymous. I want to anonymous, add. exactly. Yeah, nobody's no, gonna, no, nobody no, knows who Disco's 63 forehead is, do they? <laughs> <laughs> it's true though. Yeah. We, 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 we could easily set up a channel and be completely anonymous and comment on everything and disagree and, and create attention because people crave it. Yeah. If you're there arguing with someone online, they're buzzing off their nut about yeah. it. Yeah. Like we were talking about endorphins and that. Yeah. If you're disagreeing with them, they're I mean, like, oh, mate, it's a oh, star. Oh, what does Jack365 want? What's he all about? Oh, no, that's not true. Oh, look, 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 look who likes it. It's, that's what it's all about. Like, 
I, I've um, made this rant, man. Recently, well, the last six months, I've gone into DJing and I had a comment on my Instagram, it's quite funny. So basically, I've got this control up. Love, love my DJing, shout out to you guys, love music as well. But I've got a controller that has speakers attached, part, they're part of the controller, inbuilt speakers, monitor speakers, part of the controller, which is basically the decks. And somebody commented saying, oh, try and get a proper talent because you're basically not even playing out of your decks because there's no speaker outlet. And I said to him, do your research, this controller already comes with speakers. Did he spell your correctly though? No, he put, put you are controller. <laughs> you are controller and you're, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, so I was like, what, what? Just, before you put a comment like that, at least do your research, whereas it has got speakers a part of it, but anyway, that's, but what, that's what it's like. It's rattled you. Yeah, it did, yeah. So, so he's sort of won. Like, so he's yeah, won. I but that's, the that's the but unfortunate I'm truth. Is close. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just be aware, guys, that if you are doing your own YouTube and that, you are going to get people that disagree. Yeah. Maybe that's what you want, maybe yeah. that's what you thrive off. Yeah. For me, it's not a thing. I'd rather be true and real, and we always have been. Yeah. I think we should start to wrap it up. Yeah. And um, so we're going to talk about it for 45 minutes or so. But what haven't you achieved yet that you still want to achieve from YouTube? I know I could think of something. Yeah, take a free kicks against a professional girl. That's exactly. That's exact, look, good, good twin minds think alike. I was yeah. going to say exactly. I, same thing. I still to this day, if anyone's watching that can help us out, I'm craving the opportunity to take free kicks against against a professional goalkeeper. It doesn't have to be playing at a top level championship or higher. Ideally, it doesn't even have to be playing anymore. It can it could be a keeper that's retired because keeper still have knowledge and understanding of the game. Yeah. I want that opportunity to prove to the world and everyone that my knuckleball free kicks are as good as they appear on camera. And I don't just let them in. And you just don't let them in, yeah. exactly. Because you are a class goalkeeper. You was, are. Was. I feel like my, my body says otherwise sometimes, but I still look after myself to so keep myself active and that, but I just don't enjoy diving around and rock hard ground anymore, to be honest. That's fair, though. I just don't. I still try. I, don't, I do not let them in, by the way. Just to be clear on that, but we'll hate, we'll hate that kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. But we do really want. To, I would love to see a professional keeper try and save Sammy's like a wall free kicks. I think that'd be amazing. That's you, what that's what we want to do. You guys know in real life, I've got to have my day. Sometimes I have bad sessions. Sometimes I have quality sessions. You'll see a session coming up in a couple of weeks where I absolutely smash it. So stay tuned for that. But. It's like that, isn't it? Yeah. I, I might not do that well, but I still want the opportunity to do it. Yeah, I think it'll be. I think it'll be quality. Yeah, really good. And again, I suppose we do. Well, we would love to get to a hundred thousand subscribers, get the plaque. Yes, that'd be really cool. It's a very long process, and yeah, we peak subscribers at the right time, but it has trickled through, and it is very minimal to this day. Even though we've done a giveaway, but okay. we're going to give. Anyone of you guys that yeah. subscribe, a free pair of football boots, which isn't cheap, yeah. is coming out of our own funds. The opportunity is there, and people, I don't know what, I don't know, I don't know what, like five years ago, I, I can guarantee that video would be on like 100,000 views, it'll be yeah. shared. Yeah. Again, more accessible. There are a lot of it's comments on it, though. There's a lot of comments on it. Yeah, it's done well, yeah. but in terms of that was the opportunity to try and get to 50k, we're not asking for much. No. No, so no, we deserve it. We deserve it. I feel personally. Um, but Let us know your thoughts as to what your best knuckle twins moments are. Maybe yeah, one hundred percent. Comment down below. We might have done yeah. Freestyles FC. Yes. Shout out to all the Freestyles FC lads. Yeah. Dan Cutting, organising the team. Kim, Ewan, Kieran, Kieran Brown, Kieran Brown Kieran as Brown. well. Yeah, filmed with recently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What a legend. Really, yeah. again, happy to support our channel, see us grow. That history game is another one that we filmed with a lot. Yeah. Little so ball. not even football related, gaming related. Yeah. yeah. Absolute legend as well. Um, yeah, all of you guys. Uh, Frankie Boo. Oh, legend. legend. Um, Danny. Danny. Yeah. Yeah, so so many people, what honestly, guy, so many contacts, so many great relationships and memories with these guys. And Apologies if we haven't named you all as well, and yeah. and names you guys that watch because from the top of my head there are names I can think of. Some of you have channel names that are quite hard to pronounce, but I want to shout out just knuckle it for. I don't know how you do it, but you put essay to essay comments on our videos, and honestly, like every comment that you put, short or long, I literally there, I'm there like. You've gone out of your way to do that. You've picked yeah. up tons of the videos, and that is a personal shout out to Just Knuckle It. 
we are obviously aware of all you guys that do that, but it's important that these people get noticed. Yes. And we have got a giveaway coming up at the end of the year. So it's going to be completely random, but the most active subscriber will be winning a prize. Yeah, so keep your comments posting, keep your likes flowing. And yeah, I think we'll follow the algorithm. Yeah, follow the <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I didn't even know that word meant until like <laughs> last year again. What even is the algorithm? Is it part of the metaverse? I don't know. Don't get me started on that. That is, that is another thing we've been ranting about. Yeah, it? 100%. Always VR nonsense. Mm. Nonsense, literally. Be outside and live your lives, guys. Because yeah. you can't don't be a hermit. Stuff Do not become a hermit. No. Avoid things like Justy, <laughs> Deliveroo, all those things that. that, 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 that um, they they want you to stay at home. They want you to stay at home. Yeah. Avoid yeah. all that. Yeah. Get outside. Enjoy yeah. your lives. Yeah. Go out and have a nice meal out. That's more sociable, more interaction. You're going to gain a lot more from that. You might see something you would not have seen just from sitting in your room and watching a screen, which is kind of ironic because that's what you're doing now. <laughs> But you know what I mean. Go and watch at the beach somewhere. Yeah, go, yeah. Go and play but don't do that. That's worse. It's like going yeah. to adventure playground and then watch. Oh, yeah, it's true, true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe if you're sunbathing, it's a bit different. But right? manage your time, guys. Have your screen time. We all do. We all need our screen time. We we're in that era and that kind of age where we've grown up with it. I don't need to be in my phone all the time. No. Some of you do. I understand that. But manage your time well and live your life because doing this. <laughs> It, like, what, what good is that? Yeah. It's not real. Yeah. It's not real. Yeah. And on that, the real or fake goal is real, 100%. <laughs> yeah. The pull the string oh, comment, oh, I have no idea where that oh, came I just from. so wish I had a GoPro view in that top corner just to oh. have we a second, GoPro if had a second view. No one would question it. Shout out to GoPro as well for yeah. supporting Shout us. Shout out to GoPro. We were in the GoPro family for a lot of the time as well. Yeah. Shepray Sports Trust for allowing us to have certain funds to provide yeah. some equipment. Shout out to you guys that still allow us to perform our workshops in schools, which again gives us a buzz. We're doing one tomorrow, so yeah, looking forward to we that. We love inspiring kids and love inspiring you guys. That I mean, I was in weight shows the other day. I had three lads come up to me and were so <laughs> excited to see me. And their moments are brilliant, you know. Their moments I cherish forever because it's just just such a nice feeling. They were so excited, and I, if we ever do meet you guys, I had a few people come on Instagram saying, oh, "I'd love to meet you." Like, if we did meet you, we, we would give you our time, wouldn't we? You know, we. Yeah. Don't rush around, we'll get photos of my photos. Don't be afraid to, to approach us. Don't be very you. approachable. Very That's approachable, yeah. We'll ask questions and you can ask us questions, but... And if you yeah. made it this far, then you're clearly a loyal fan. Or you at least like us. 100%. So yeah. that, that, that is worth it. For you to get this far and see us say that to you, yeah. don't be afraid to say hello. Yeah. Quick more shout out to Mizuno. Mizuno. New recent boot that we love wearing. Thank you so much for supporting our content. And they they oh, just they've just signed a deal with Lazio. Oh, how sick it. is that? Forza Eagles. I could wear this on my next piece of jewellery. Is that gold? Couldn't I? <laughs> Who you met? You met Hernanes, one Hernanes, of your favourite players yeah. at the time at Lazio. Yeah. Palace pre The Desmo as well. Yeah. Big oh. fans of Lazio. So yeah, Mizuno. That is a quality signing. That's going to do so good for your brand. We're really proud of that. Yeah. Love the boots. New banks. Obviously, love you guys. Love the boots as well. Umbro. Umbro. A recent connection. And we've worked with him in the past. In New York. USA, yeah. Our first ever work in New yeah. York abroad with yeah. Josh and Scott. If you guys are watching, probably not, but Remy as well, top yeah. quality guys, giving us amazing opportunities and now we're back working with Umbro again. So that is really exciting. I feel right up there, aren't we? A few comments from the video? Yeah, go for it. And then we'll end. And then comments on Instagram. Uh, we used to have to get YouTube up on a laptop to see comments, by the way. I'm not no, no, yeah, yeah. We couldn't get YouTube on our phones when we started. No. I think someone was saying, uh, who's going to win the Premier League this season? I want to be born as the same Man City. I, I know, can't, I yeah. can't see them crumbling, to be honest. No, Not with no. the hype of Haaland. And Obviously, we want Liverpool to win, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Look, oh, look at that. An advert about the GP probably telling you to stay at home and not see the doctors. <laughs> That's sad, isn't it? <laughs> no one wants to see you anymore. You can't arrange appointments to see the doctors. No one cares. <laughs> sad reality of life. I don't know about advertising that as well, it's probably all virtual anyway. Yeah, probably right. doing video, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Tommy Tom. <laughs> they're probably just telling you to stay at home and order Just Eat, that's what they're doing. Yeah. Right, Live a healthy, have a healthy lifestyle as well. 
yeah. big advice. Live a healthy lifestyle. Get fresh air. Get fresh air. Go for runs, walks, bike rides. Don't wear nappies around your faces. No. Eat well. Don't eat that, guys. The class immune system. Yeah. Um, eat your greens. Eat your, eat your veggies. You know, I yeah. wouldn't recommend eating broccoli how um, Disco Boy does, though. Really? That's, that's pretty extreme, but yeah, eat your greens, guys. <laughs> Drink right. plenty of water as well. Yeah, obvious. Especially yeah. for football. Yeah. So, SM, put, what is wrong with the Euro Pass? So, that was in our recent video. Um, what's happened is the ball basically leaks air. We're not sure if it's a valve issue or a bladder issue, but it's one of those things. It's really, it's, it sounds daft, but me, for me personally, me personally, Sound like guy from Love Island. I have invested a lot of money into official match balls. So to see them yeah. suddenly start starting to die out, we've had them for like over five, seven years. So it's it's understandable, it's but it is very depressing. So I want to make that point clear. But yeah, I've got to fix it, but I don't really feel motivated to do it right now. Um, it's Neptune says, personally, I really like something light and comfortable for my knuckleballs. I like the Vapor 14 Elite. Not too familiar with those boots. We're not too big on Nike boots, are we, to be fair? No, I'm pretty sure they're Nike boots. <laughs> but that's good for you. You want light and comfortable boots for anything you do with football. So, great point. Alejandro A. Best, another regular commenter. Yeah, yes, regular yeah. fan of the channel. Palermo legend, I'm pretty sure. You might call me out wrong with that. But he put, just got Cafusa ball for £50. That's a bargain. That's a and steal. And we lost the Cafusa, didn't we? That's, yeah. Yeah. We lost the Cafusa yeah. at Hills. We were the one end of the goal where the fence is and you can't see behind it. It went over and it never saw it again, yeah. did we? Yeah. Sad times. Probably sitting in someone's um, garage somewhere. Yeah. But that is very similar to the Tango ball, which we gave away before, didn't we? Did, the Power yeah. Tango yeah. 12 gave away that ball. Richard Powell in the podcast. Perfect. Can Could you guys include what you think are your top knuckleballs ever? It would be amazing to hear your opinion. So, my favourite knuckleballs are the Real of Fake goal, the Real of Fake 2 scored at Brock Hill. Brock Hill. So many pitches we've been at as well. Yes, yeah. But that pitch, scoring at Real of Fake goal because it was such a unique movement. The knuckleball, the jabby line that won me the smart ball. Or yes, won us the smart ball. Unbelievable, that one. I remember mean, seeing that ball just go from there to, yeah. to the side, yeah. So go and watch that. That was in 2014, if you want to see that goal. More recently, the one at Selinge, when Liam was there in the rain, that was nuts. Oh, it took the off. Goat the, knuckle ball. the goat yeah. knuckleball. The goat knuckleball. The goat knuckleball. The goat knuckleball. Yeah. I've always wanted to score a goal like that. Yeah. I think there's been so many that I do forget. Yeah. Um, but those will probably stick up there. You score some amazing bowling knuckleballs. Your blackout Adidas one, top yeah, right. Yeah, that's my first one I scored. The Team G's one in your Celtic kit that yeah. dips and comes down, flies yeah. in the top right at Three yeah. Hills. More dip than Salsa. More dip than Salsa. That was amazing. To Bertram99, another regular commenter. Thank you very much. He put, keep on your cheap boots. It's amazing for knuckleball. <laughs> to be fair, I could just wear the Sondra Co boots. So, yeah. I've still got them. Some great goals and end boots as well. Yeah, yeah, with the Team G's ball. Yeah. I feel like confused. it's confusing how £300 boots is not good, but your health is more important. Very true. Yes. And that's the point that we made in that video. I do like these boots, but for knuckleballs, they were uncomfortable. Kristen from... Oh, what, what YouTube channel did Kristen had? He had a... Um, with his brother. Free kick skills. Free kick skills. Oh, yes. Back in the yeah, day. Yeah, yes, yeah. Recognise you. New Bats Fury was a great free kick. Haven't tried the newer models, but the ones that I wore previously were all fine. No yeah. issues with the New Bats Fury ones. Maridal, another regular commenter. Well, guys, you yeah, have been practicing for a while. I guess why not put the skills to you? Show us an amazing knuckleball in a match. Again, need to find a team. Yeah. But Free Stars FC, if an opportunity comes up, we'll be able to yeah. give that a go. Support from Singapore, Leo Leo, thank you very much. Thank you for everyone who watches worldwide and enjoys our videos. Leave Townsend, another regular commenter, put knuckle it, and Froggy Froggy put first. So you were clearly a notification bell yeah. subscriber. Yeah. So there we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the podcast. We've loved filming it today. Um, had a bit of preparation, but not too much. And yeah, we'll um, catch on the flippity flip. If you want to do us another podcast, we will. Yeah, we'll see you in two weeks. If you stayed this far, thank you so much for your time, guys. It really means a lot. And like, subscribe if you're new. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you in two weeks. Knuckle it. Boom. That was like, now you're just teasing us. Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> this time, you keep wet. Oh! <laughs>
Sick. Oh, it's your legend. Thank you. Yes. Well done, man. That's crazy. What better city to land today? <laughs> New York City. We in the house. NYC. Nasty young crew. You already know. Yes. These guys are legends. We've been out to that trip about them. Baby. That was funny. Yeah, 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 yeah.